Good Sunday morning and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be playing draft mode for the first time since the hard release and I have my free little token. But even if we finish the run and we're not content with the way it went, we've got tons of keys to keep going here and resources we can spend on the draft. So let's get into it here. And if you guys enjoy the draft content let me know because i can even do like a weekly sunday draft for those who don't play on the ladder who just want to watch something else so i'm excited to see it what oh i guess i had one that was started before the changeover well yeah like i just built the deck and quit here it's a cool menu. Enter the cycle. See? I'm not lying. Use my ticket to enter. Now we gotta be we gotta be mindful of the fact that this allows me to have 16 provisions, 15, and 15. This is gonna play tempering, so it's a five-point leader effectively. This is gonna be a four-point leader plus consistency. And this is going to be some damage and four points. That's a tough one. I feel like there's a lot more that I could probably do with these two than this one here. Uh, it's a Northern Realms card of choice, though. That, yeah, that, that, that clause makes it kind of unplayable. I think in these types of modes, guys, you got to go for the things that are like the most versatile. It's the best way to have a chance. We're going to go Mahakam Forge here. Oh, my God. This is not good. What if I can't even proc the scenario... Full test is kind of trash here because we're definitely not going to be devotion. How is it possible in a mode like this? Ethereal. It's like the only card I can play here. Okay. I hope I don't... <gasps> I see something going on. If we can play Germain Picant... And then transform them? Is Are we going for the ethereal swarm? Okay. So we have a theme. We also have dwarves. Man, I, I'm just going to pretend like I didn't see Death Wish here after we pulled the haunt. I'm literally just going to ignore that. The thing is, it's all randomized, so how do you even prepare for this? Okay, our leader can buff this up. This kind of sucks. And this is pretty good. Like, this is really bad, though. Like, this is like a three-point. This is actually, like, usable. See, bleeding's good. Bleeding's good. I guess we can give insanity. Like, these are beefy cards. I think we take it. Doesn't have to make sense. Okay, crap. Like, board swarming, but then they have Glusty Warp. I think that this is counter board swarming. It's basically taking away a swarm. So, no. We want to use the tokens for the ethereal. We could, we could done banner with the leader. Now we pulled more death wish. We could have had like a solid deck. Okay, let's take. And then we skip dwarves and we get Brover. Oh my gosh. Transform an adjacent unit into a cut up lackey. It plays for 10 points each time. Well, 9 points. We take care of a token. Or we flip like a spying unit or something. 
man. I might be a pro player, but I'm not a draft pro. Okay. I like drawing cards. Wait, this plays into our thing. This does play into our thing. I think we have to stick to the script here. Get the big... Behemoth kind of sucks, though. It only works with the nest. Otherwise, it's like kind of sad. We'd be spawning two drones, boosting all. So it'd be three. Five. Yeah, it, it plays like for its provisions. Drawing cards is pretty cool, though. Alright, we need some... Let's just say we grab consistency tools here. They don't want to see me win. Armor, Shiru. Shiru for three. <laughs> Trace butterflies. Okay. This is kind of cool. Man, I'm just thinking... Okay, I made a dwarf's deck the other day. Posted a deck guide on that one there. And I had an idea for Irish Shade. This could have been the perfect opportunity to play test that. Had we went with the Brewer and all that stuff earlier. You know, it's too late now. But I'm still going to make that deck. Just not in this draft mode. We'll go offense. Do we like Melusine? Do we like Frigate? We have drawing tools. I don't need Iroquois. That would probably ruin us, to be fair. Um, Rain's kind of good. Rain plays into, like, my damage thing. Boost, mages. Yeah, we're not playing mages like that. I think this makes the most sense. We don't have crew for the Frigate. Oh my. Well, this would suck. This is four points here. We go lamp. I'll just keep the cosmetics in place for this one. We'll change them up for the next time because I don't think I've done a draft mode with you guys yet. This is so bad. So, I don't know if there's like a certain amount of games you play, and if you lose, then you have to start over or something. We'll find out. We do what must be done. Ew, why do I gotta go first? And how come our stratagem couldn't be something that boosts? Because the Dunn Banner thing could have been really cool. And we have no way to bring back the Melusine, which is unfortunate. That would have been crazy if we could pull off a resurrection there. So, it's not doing me a whole lot. Um, proactivity, we need some. This is probably not good here. That's probably not good here. And rain goes away because it's another card that's not very good here. I think we just go with the Swordmaster, warm that up. I value their leader more than ours, I think. Watch them push it. Okay. So we're losing on even in the first round. I think it's safe to say. Uh, doomed to gain zeal. We could save it. We could definitely save it. Is it worth it?
I don't think it's worth it just yet. We could play something like this. See if they can answer this card. If I'm going to lose round one, I at least want to take the leader with me. I blinked and missed what they played. Give vitality to a unit for six turns. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, we're taking the Ardgeth for sure. Good luck with the Bone Talisman there. Let's start getting these mad points. Flip. Flip. Intimidation here. And then we can go in and... Wait, that's my turn. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is my turn. We, uh, I forgot about that. It actually adds to the round. It's been a while since I've seen that card being played. Holy crap. Um. Yeah, the thing is, like, I could extend... I could extend the round I know we're going to lose. We dance. <laughs> For young it might provoke nice. them to play more good cards. You know, we could do something pretty cool with the Melusine. It's like... I just don't know if we want to use it here. Maybe next time we could like chip things down and weaken them, make Melusine's base power stronger, and then just flip them over with Ethereal when they're getting tired. <laughs> I like how Bone Talisman actually helped them out. I like how I was, I, I thought I was doing something slick. If I had an Igni right now, they would be done. Absolutely finished. <clears throat> Draw a card, play a card. Yo, what if I pull Lambert? Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, fine, I'll, I'll put up with that, that's fine. If I had Lambert here, man, that would have been like the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, right? Should we just trade junk? Maybe we can play to five. And it's all for me, Grog. Me knocky knocky, Grog. Let's see here. Cow. We'll use the ore, flip it over, play something else that's inexpensive, go on from there. They're actually pulling off moves. Leading. Flip that just to make it look more aesthetic. And. Maybe we play War Chariot here for more bleeding? Maybe their math is not very good. Oh god. Can't get rid of it. Uh, I was 
wasn't expecting that. They have a good deck. Would have liked to have that talisman now. Okay, so we we have a couple done banners to help us out here. This is probably like the worst thing to have in my hand, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so what's the win condition? Done banner. We'll go Necker done banner. They're going to be able to kill one of them, which is crazy. Even this, like, card's getting some value here. Come to me, little one. Okay. I think... Well, you think they'd want Sabbath. So if they pass on me, we're pretty screwed. We're in trouble. Oh my god. And they have the vitality for it. Okay. It's a done banner. Full leader. Let them know we mean business. 18, that gets us ahead. You're trapped. And four and two. So the archer should actually. Damn. They saw the play. We'll go and respect the thrive curve a little bit. I'm glad they took this effect off melee. I was starting to get worried when I saw that I was stacking melee. Uh, spawn right, left, okay. I mean, it's a cooldown of three. Maybe these points make a difference. It would be the next in sync for the Thrive Curve, so we could play that here. Ethereal here would clean house. When it spawns a cow in the row, though, I think it pulls it to the right. Whereas we'd want Ethereal to kind of... It would play into the left. This is actually synergy still. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Extra little cow. I kinda wanna focus on taking down the she who knows. Just because we don't want to deal with that again. You know what the crazy thing is? We're actually doing it. We're actually doing this right now. Oh no. I actually didn't know this order resets. Okay, so 33, we can take six is the natural selection here in the curve. We want the most points. Flip a cow into... There we go. Why aren't they stacking ranged? I couldn't tell you. Malicine finisher. Oh, you should have taken out the... The, um... The six. We'll, we'll just put some uh, some damage on it. Take away a point from what they remove anyways and give it back to ourselves here. So if they're not playing anything too crazy, we should be fine. No, 
I think we're done. I think we're dead. We need 10 points. Yeah, we're dead. They... Uh... We're dead. I don't think that they deserved it. They just had a better pull than me. Okay. Let's get something going here. Siggy. It's also awkward right here. They say coins, but it's not a lot of coin. Siggy is a lot of coin, but we don't we only have the one spender. We only have the one consume. This has the most... We need points. That's the problem. Okay, I think I'm going to make an investment. I think I'm going to make an investment and... We'll have to see where it goes here. You know how much I dread not getting that haunt. We do what must be done. And why I don't want to be on blue coin. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll keep this this game. Don't want that. I would have rather had that now instead of this. At least I get single debt laugh fired off. I'm happy with that. Bleeding's cool. Swarm is cool. It just sucks that th th these are going to come out after we play these. You know what I mean? So I don't think the other ones are going to get boosted from it. Alright, just nonchalant. We'll put down this card here. And we'll start to... I probably want to do the debt laugh early. Watch, they have all the commandos. So, I can't kill it. We can only do three. We have the two plus the one. Moving it back does nothing. Bleeding is obviously not going to work. I guess they forgot to click in the turn. I think what we're supposed to do is focus on the swarm. So if we get the cooldown started, then we might be able to add a little bit of extra tokens for the swarm. Get a bigger payoff at the end. Watch them. I swear the row's going to fill up. Okay. I see an opportunity. I take an opportunity. We get the cooldown refreshed on this. We kill that. They can hide, but there is no escape. Just in case, right? We don't know. Flip that because it's getting to the point of the round where we have to make a choice. Most toxic location in the entire game. Quickly. 
All right, so I'm not thinking. Give bleeding cooldown three. This is something we probably want to play here, just in case we want to go into the round a little bit. Right? Crew combined both would have never happened, <laughs> unless they want to do crew be between the cows. Oh, is that a bluff haunt? Draw a card, play a card. We don't want to do that. I can't tell if it's bluff haunt. Okay, I'm stressing, but I don't think we need to stress. I think we can actually just put that down next turn, get that. We've got a pretty good board state for a swarm. I'm just trying to decide if leader's too expensive. Because if I bring them out before I use the, the talisman, we get more points. Lieutenant Flouts will lead the scouts. Okay, what? Ah, wow. I'm so glad this run was free. <laughs> Holy man. We just gotta keep going? I think that's the only Death Wish card that they have because they had to pull for it. So we'll keep going with the swarm. Nah, we can't give up yet. They're running out of steam. We're just getting started. As long as my Dun banner sticks. Okay, now they have it. Can consume this one and get the points. You know, it's actually not that bad. Look, we just keep chipping away here and we'll be alright. Everything's got bleeding on it. Almost. Draw a card, play a card, don't be a Dun Banner. Thank you. I think we take this here now. Ah. Would you look at that? Okay, so. If I get a pass here, I'm happy with that. That's not the points. They got the four bleeding, I think. Okay, three units have bleeding. Ah, let's just take the pass. Yeah, see? We bluffed them. That's what you get. Round one, hot. Loses to Piquant Swarm. This reminds me of the old up, uprising days. 
Okay, so... So this is always more points than this. <gasps> we could have cracked the egg with the melusine. Alright, so we're pushing. We're going for that tool. I wish I had that card. Mmm. I think I want them to play a little slow, so I'll put down something like this, and then I'll hit them with the the debt laugh to be like, oh. If I had a long round, we could literally melody in the debt laugh, but we just don't have the time. Maybe just play something crappy. Hit that. Hit the front. Ah. Oh. I guess we could use the insanity here. Trying this whole thing again. Depending on. Okay, depending on the dead laugh count. Or the the commando count. We might be fine. I have a bad feeling about it though. Like, I feel like if I pass here, then I have a little bit of an advantage. But, at the same time, I don't really have... Nah, call a bluff. Maybe they just have three commandos and it's not even worth like, worrying about here. Okay, we'll just leave that. That actually kind of helps us out a little bit, because now we might not hit the egg. I just don't know if I do Melusine Finisher or not. Maybe we save that for round three. Oh. <laughs> I was all worried for nothing. Here, you know what? Okay. No, we, we go for that 2-0. We earned this. This is our moment, right? Here. We definitely... Definitely want to go for that tool. And boost something on the front row. And back row is 26. Maybe we dish some bleeding there, make it worse. Just in case... Hey, let's go! <laughs> Yeah, man. Alright, now I'm in control. I got the answers to everything. Dagger two blades makes sense. As does Yen. Both cards are great. This one's really good here. Because we have a lot of... Okay. At least we start to get some synergy here. Melusine. Ah, finally. Finally some good cards. Witchers are nice too. But this isn't really going to do much for me. Frigate doesn't really work. Two commandos and a scout. 
Well, we can use that with the Dun Banners as well. Okay, remember when I said let's invest in Death Wish? Now it doesn't make sense. Because <laughs> we only have the one consume. So I think we have to abort. I think that these are safe to play. Like, the bleeding is always safe to play. Remove card, eh? Realistically, which one's better? Ethereal put in some work. But this is always going to be the big points. Just boom, you know? I, I want to say we got to say bye to this here. We're never getting the coins. Remove a set. Okay, so this is where we refine it a little bit. I think we dump the death wish because it just wasn't working. Wait, why did I get rewards? Okay, we get to remove another set. What a tease. They show me this combo, and then they're like, you can play with this combo. And then we can't play it with the combo. I want to keep this, because why would I dump a Lambert for a couple blue stripes? I think banners are safer than commandos, but then again... Yeah, yeah we remove those. Added things just to remove things. Yeah. Oh, it's not working. Wait, can I... Let's try it again. There. Just click it five times, we're good. Hopefully it didn't remove other stuff that I wasn't paying attention with. Um, we have to remove these. Wow. I'm just upset because I kept... I kept the ethereal, so I want this. I want this. Okay. Realistically, Melusine's doing the least here. Alright, wins in current draft. We got it. We we snagged a win. Okay, I'm gonna make another coffee and then we'll just resume right where we left off here. Give me a sec. Alright, let's get back to it here. I was gonna have another coffee, but I was like, you know what? I have an energy drink in the fridge. Nice little sugar-free orange. Super crisp. It's not first thing in the morning. It's like it's more like 10, 10 a.m. And I've been up for a few hours, so I don't feel bad about having something like that. So, so far, I haven't really noticed a difference between a draft before you had to pay and draft when you had to pay. It just looks like they... they... added a paywall to it and then... called it a launch. My folk have suffered much. And from what I recall too, a lot of the packages that you're getting are... Um, Similar to the ones you had before, I, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of different packages. Like, they really narrow it down to thinning, bleeding, like, stuff like that. Whereas, I think with the old arena mode, the individual card selection was really nice. This can be really good for this. Just an FYI, now we don't have to use leader to get it done. Uh, it's a good round. It's good. I like it. Might be a bit top heavy, but it's fine. We keep going first in every single game, so what are you gonna do, right? Now, let's get the order on this one started. Maybe we can get a good card from them.
has anyone let me know if you've made it to this point in the video if, if anybody's made it to this point in the video kudos but um let me know if you guys played Yu-Gi-Oh! the new one there's one that just came out and I used to be a pretty big Yu-Gi-Oh! player I used to have this game for Game Boy Game Boy Color when I remember the name of it I'll tell you maybe someone knows but um Anyways, so I, I would play religiously on that. I would collect the cards. Pick a card with the draw. Do we really care for Ethereal here? They kind of benefit from that, but I think I take Berserker. Anyways, played play the crap out of this Yu-Gi-Oh! Collected all the cards, whatever. It was really cool. Um, I haven't played in years. I played Duel Links. When it came out for mobile, before Gwent, and I was pretty competitive in Duel Links when it first launched, I was like, S tier, but um, I quit, and I just erased everything that had to do with how to play Yu-Gi-Oh out of my head, so if I went back into it now, I'd feel like very new. I'm just trying to decide if that's something I want to try. But uh, I've read mixed reviews on Steam, so my question to you guys is, have you played it yet? Is it good? Is it worth looking at, even if it's a let's play? Maybe we just do a review? I don't know. It's free to play. I just, like, the reviews were saying pretty much the same thing that you see with Gwent and all other card games on the internet, right? There's a lot, a lot of cards going on. You need the newest cards in order to be good. And if you don't have them, then sorry out of luck. And obviously grinding to get them is going to be tough because the people that pay money... That's not how Ethereal works. You know what would be funny though? If they did set up a whole roll of Ethereals and we just dropped the Lambert. Okay, I really like the direction this round's going here. Feels pretty cozy. I think we might be able to get away with the pass shortly. But yeah, I'm looking at doing content for a job. And that sounds ridiculous. But uh, you'd be surprised, like, I believe in the potential of playing games making content on the internet for a living. I think that it's doable for a lot of people and, you know, it requires a lot of work, but if you enjoy the work, then hey. It's just, um, I have a fear that if the games I like die, then what do we do, right? So I'm trying to be optimistic and I'm open to some variety. So we have done banner. Nice. Okay, I want... Oh, this is perfect. I like this. This is great too. Synergy. Okay. This is cool. Um, this is actually very risk. The fact that we took out Melusine makes this card kind of bad. I forgot about that. I actually forgot about that. Okay, we're running out of time here. There we go. We got something going on. Um, we would be pulling this, which would then play, hopefully, this. Okay. Let's see. Because if they take it out... Let's bring it right back. I noticed how they didn't put like a lot of specials in the game. Where are my gutting slashes and stuff, you know? Oh god, we gotta get rid of this, don't we? I just don't think when it hits armor, it does it like that. But um, we can certainly shut it down. And the fact that we kind of won on even is a big deal. Ruver. That's a big Ruver.
You know, we can actually... Well, it doesn't even matter if we push it at this point. Here, we'll just start playing some cards. There you go. I want to see what they play, and I want to try and get that out this round. I think it's valuable. But they're going to go ahead and hit that too. No, you don't hit the back row, you hit the front one. No. There you go. I don't think we need to get too expensive here. No Skellige in the grave. Wait, when did I ever play Dun- oh, I forgot about that, we never took it. Okay, well this is still something to play. We definitely don't 2-0. So they have the game sense. Taking out Dunbanner is smart. I think I just extend the round here and get this out of the way. We dance. <laughs> For young is the night. I want to see if I could play one or two crappy cards. Ah, oh, they could have taken the resilience there easily. Okay, yeah, we can maybe play a couple crappy cards here, like put down like the ale, you know. If I can get one more crappy card, I, like I don't really want to bring back. The dagger in round three. But I also don't want to bin Sigdrifus right because it's kind of slow. And they haven't played that boosted card from hand two. Okay, can we find the points? Yeah, we can find the points. Here. Dump. Play. If they hero pass, we just cram cards and win the game, right? You have to play. You're trapped. Yeah, I think we're out of luck here. I don't think we push that anymore. Okay, so done. Banner's worthless. This might be good, actually. These might be really good. We've got Thrive Curve. Yeah, they'll go pretty strong. Uh, draw card, play card. Dandelion actually makes sense here. Is that the hand? Yeah. We just really hope that we don't get the Talisman. I think that's crappy. What I don't like is that you can't get rid of individual cards. Like, what if I, I like a package, but one of the cards is really bad and I want to keep some of the package but I don't want to have that certain card I think that you should be able to do trades like single trades you know what I mean just get like get rid of this and take one of these three or something or, or one of these two or even okay this is the card available one card you, you can you know what I mean
like a mode has so much potential, man. And what I liked about arena mode in the past is it actually helped me become better at building decks because I had to read the cards I was choosing because you only get to pick them one at a time. And so it made you think and actually read them and not just, you know, like look at packages in general because what happens is if you start and draft the practice and you translate that to ladder play, then you're obviously just going to be looking for packages. It's like when you're playing Skellige, for example, you're like, hey, discard package, this package, that package. And then everyone's decks look the same. This is the problem that I have. Now, we know that this has a counter. But the Thrive Curve says to play this first. Oh my gosh. I guess we don't play that first. We'll play... We'll play this first. Okay. Not all bad. Not all bad. We have the Swarm Finisher. Maybe that's the best thing that can happen to us. I think we win. Feel pretty good about it here. We can do damage. Well, let's click that so we don't forget about it. Do some damage here. Proc the Thrive. We're doing alright. I guess this is the card that they buffed in hand. It kind of sucks that Lambert's not going to do anything. We have perfect Lambert set up here, but it's just no good. We have to play the Bleeding first. Yeah, we'll give Bleeding three. And we'll hit something that has armor because, you know, we want to save the Lambert for the actual one we can hit. So what wins them the game here? Can dwarves fight? Ha, the fish passing lakes. Play this here. I'm still looking for another option. Okay. In case they have like the weird odd igni or something nuts. Take, take it like that. There, there you go. Save ourselves a couple points here. No armor for you. Oh no. Gotta put Zoltan in the middle. So they threw two points. I think it's probably still Lambert because we get the two and the three. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna play. I'm gonna play in the back row with the six. I'm in no mood to talk. I think we still hit that there. And I'm sorry, guys, but I, I feel like I have to play this last turn. Yeah, I feel like we gotta do it. I gotta show you guys the payoff here. We worked so hard for this. Yeah. Let's go. I used to have a majestic beard. I shaved it. Like half of it. Kind of regret it. Kind of regret it. It was for Christmas. <laughs> I just wanted it to look a little bit cleaned up because I haven't seen the family in a bit. But, uh, man, it's weird not having that big beard. It's like, it's still there, you know? But it's not the same. Um, okay. This sucks. 
This is kind of cool. We can, yeah. Okay, I, I like the middle set. We have the Thrive, a Defender. Yeah, Cave. We can clear up some board space, remove something. A little bit more control. Pop back in here. We're 2-1. and one. First game doesn't even count. Then it never happened. Checking my email real quick while the games load. Okay. So I don't know if you guys know this. But uh, it was something that I wasn't really happy with at all. Um, okay, this combo is... It works. The bleeding, it works well. Here. Put that back. This kind of works too. Eh, nah. Bleeding's good. Yeah. Put this back for now, I think. Okay, so. Lost my train of thought. Um, okay, someone stole my work and they. They took a thumbnail that I made on my, my Frost video and they posted it on their video and I just think that's ridiculous. Like, it's not like I, I value it that much, but it's the principle. Like, I spent the time learning how to use these programs to make the content for myself and I spent money on this as well like Photoshop Premiere Pro you know what I mean these types of things involve money and hours of time I don't know but you see what I'm saying here like and then for someone to just go and uh, and just take that you know, I don't think they realize, like, basically kind of the significance of what would happen. But um, I was able to get a copyright claim so that they have seven days to remove it. Otherwise, they get a copyright strike on their channel. And the video will be removed. So YouTube just got back to me with that. I don't play around, man. I'm a nice guy, but I don't like to be crossed. I, I think that's only fair, right? Okay, I gotta put down the emails for now. We'll do what? I could have kept the Sigrif is right. It could have been something special. So how do I want to play this? Take the thin, perhaps. Take the thin, get out of the round. And they see the same line. That's gonna cause us some problems. Holy! Can we do it? I don't know if we can do it. Well, if I okay, if I take Mata here, it actually gives me some time in the round, so I don't mind as much. Actually, I do care because it doesn't give us enough time. Because I could take my Hakamel, which we kind of have to at this point. Okay. I might regret this. I might regret this. We'll have to see. Well, 
Blood. Oh my. I mean, at this point in the round, we just want to play, right? Do not make me beg. I think we're. I think we're in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Do we? Do we just say, you know what? It's happening. Do we Danny line here and and just try and pull something good? If I can Danny line. I think we have to. Playing two cards will help us. Um, pick a card to play. Do we go for Point Slammer? Do we go for Removal? I think we go for Cyclops here. You see? Okay, watch this. Pow. Let's go. It's still not enough points. And we don't have the space to do anything. You're, gonna, you're really going to do me like that? Oh, okay. They're really going to go like that. I wasn't expecting the, the super bluff. I was expecting them to just keep playing and playing and playing. So I think we have to do something wild here. How are we gonna get if I don't get the card back where we we're done? Right? We're so done. We're dead. We gotta get this down in the leader next turn. Be not afraid. This will only hurt. Oh no. Is this range locked? Okay. So, move an enemy unit to the other row. Yeah. Just go pow. You can purify it. Critical thinking. Okay. A healthy mind. I need to get back another card. That's the problem. Uh, range purify this place for eight points. Seven if you're including Corvo. I don't think we're going to get any cards back. Now we're dead dead. Super dead. So dead. So dead. <laughs> Okay, see, now we're getting something here. Kadoosh is the MVP, although I do like Gabber, Kadoosh is awesome. Butte Jin's justice gonna suck. Uh, self wound. These all kinda suck. Oh, there's a skip? I, I didn't know that there was a skip. Well, that changes so much. As if I didn't know there was a skip. I like special cards. I think they can be used anytime. Okay. Ethereal. <sighs> I'm 
so can I see my deck? Nice. See, I didn't even know this was the thing either. Um, if I remove, if I remove dagger, I keep thinking that I'm gonna rope and I have to like do this fast. There's no timer. It's just there's so much going on with the animations that it makes me feel like there's pressure. So this is good for cows and damage things. This is like, eh. Like we saw that it was pretty slow. But it does work, you know what I mean? I don't want to remove this either. I just want to know which is better. I think Ethereal probably needs to go. We get to remove a set. Kind of want to remove this set here. I like this set and I like this set. Also, I've noticed with draft, the background's always the same. I think that they should make it different. Because every run's unique, so why are you giving me the same background every single time? I already bought the game board. I can look at it whenever I want. Two gigas is awesome. Okay. Searching for a worthy rival. Let's go. I am not lose. Yeah, I have to try hard this one. They say they are not lose. But they're certainly not going to be win. You'll see. Okay. Ah, uh, this goes. We don't care about thinning. This goes. And we abuse the coin with Thrive. And if you guys missed the play too, we don't have to Sigdrif as the, the dagger. We can now take like a Bear Witcher. Which is crazy. Just the 8 point swing. What are we, 2 and 2? Let me know if you guys think I should um, continue the run. Next week, like the same run, or start fresh. I kind of want to start fresh every time. I don't care about the in-game currency. This feels like a problem. But they have leader anyways. and This looks like a full-pledged deck that they got going on. So we'll, we'll play how we're supposed to. You know, when they said their names, I'm not lose, I'm starting to think that, you know, they're actually pretty sweaty. Because they got the right stratagem, right leader, oh my. Is it possible that they've been refining this one draft deck for like a month? Okay, so we'll go with that. Because I want to get the payoff from the Weavis, you know this. We take the gig on the Weavis, huge. Just don't be Maruna. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that they've been refining this deck. There's no way. Too much synergy here. We have to get... I gotta get rid of that problem. Jeez. Okay, so I'd like to believe that that's the only consume they have in hand. I think that's right, because that's an engine and a consume. We take it. There's no way. 
All right, since I know I'm going to be getting something good. Draw a card, play a card. Maybe we do that. Okay, maybe we actually take this and then this do like a, the Thrive Curve here for this. Draw a card. Thrive's three. We got to play Bleeding now. Here. They probably don't consume that in this round. So if they click, if they click location, I know that the best cards going in their their top deck. So I want to see if I can prep for that. Just nonchalant, discreet, put that down. See if they click this turn. If they click, we are getting their top unit. Okay, now it has to stay. No way. No way. Wow, man. Complete bull. Do I have the leverage to do this in two turns? Do I? If, okay, if I go down with a, with a Quartermaster, we can hit this and get the Thrive back. I think we're wasting Kadoosh at that point. It's too big of a lead. Every single card that they've played makes sense, whereas mine suck. <laughs> Let's take a look at it real quick. You see what I mean? It's all Deathwish. Um, if I was in their position, I'd probably try and steamroll 2-0. So I have to kind of look at that. This is probably not as good as this. And we have leader for Dunbanner. It sucks that we mulligan back. Wow. Alright. Where's that 5 point damage now? They probably have Osral too. I see a line where we hit it, and we hit it. Gotta be kidding me. At least we didn't damage it first. They're just gonna pass like that. Okay, that's good. That that actually really helps me. We need to do big points here. I think we take. I th I don't think we want to use leader. Okay, so they're gonna get one. Twenty two. Twenty one, twenty, yeah, there we go. Okay, so sheer points, we need value here. We can't afford bricks. I don't think we pull anything. I think this is as good 
That's where I need to get. I really do. I mean, it doesn't matter if we play this first or second. I think we just go down for the fin, keep it simple. Take leader here, because we can. What are the odds? I guess that they they knew that that would be a good tech. They're probably like, yeah, everyone's running thin packages. We'll just go ahead and play that. Everything I have is uh, well, it's on it's on order, right? So I can just I'll rest it. Watch a scorch. Uh, create bronze Nilfgaard card. Might be time to try and roll a lock here. Okay. Assimilates. Well, it's starting deck, so it doesn't work like that for us. Um, but it will proc when we play this. So technically that's four points. This is five points, and this is four points. We take this one. And can't say I love the bleeding here. Kind of helps them out, you know what I mean? But we actually lose points the longer we wait to use the order. Of course. Don't use it. Don't use it. Okay. <laughs> Saved. Saved. That was so close. Uh, are they are they gonna sandwich them? It looks like they're gonna sandwich them here with like an Andriga or something like that. Uh, give bleeding three. We gotta get that done soon. I'm just worried that they're gonna consume. Um, they're gonna consume everything. I want to see. Hey, we kept it out of range. That's really good. So they consumed it. So we didn't lose there completely. Um, let's see here. We can give bleeding to something that they have no reason to consume. And we want to play around Maruna as best possible. I think I take Lambert here. Maybe take Lambert. Well, they're taking what they want anyways. That's the problem. It's just after the deploy takes Sucks. Yeah, we put bleeding on this because they're going to consume that, I think. I really didn't want to let them have that card. Succubus here doesn't actually... that That's what they'd want to bring back. Yeah. So we have the Ekamaras for the Lambert, so I'm really glad we didn't take... That'll do it for the leader. The most points is going to come off this. And do? we could hit... Well, we don't necessarily want to hit that. Or that. Uh, doesn't matter. We're not going to kill it. I don't think we win. No. Okay, that's not all bad. We saved some points there. Take the heal. I don't know, that's a pretty big, pretty big play. No, there's no way, there's no way. All they gotta do is play like five. No, we lose. 
Vi. Oh my gosh. Vi finisher. If they... Yeah. The deck made complete sense. We didn't. Alright. All right, we'll do one more here. We'll do one more, I'm thinking. Cranmer, Company, Defender. I like this. This is cool. This is risky. Actually, this is pretty good. This is pretty good for the swarm. Pretty good for just we we have cards that play into that. Uh, remove set. Well, we just we just uh, got some cards. I guess we have one of these. We could probably remove this set. Yeah, alchemy is not really needed here. And I'm deliberately trying to like not just play a deck. Like I, I want to have a cool multi-faction thing going on. It's, I think that's kind of where the fun of it is. So these packages make you kind of go more towards a faction as well. Alright, last up here we got Narima. That sounds familiar. That sounds like a viewer name. Hopefully it is. This will be interesting. Alright. Thrive. Thin. Bleed. Control. We've got all the stops here, right? Everything's looking pretty good. Maybe this goes. We I want something proactive. Maybe we get a lock or something here. All right, we got we got one proactive play. Oops, definitely not that. Oh, <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't they have this card, right? Sure. We can't really do a whole lot here. Like, I don't want to roll this. We just kind of. Maybe they'll go after the five instead of the three. So they're holding bombs, great. Revenants, man. One of my favorite decks. Absolutely one of my favorites. I just don't know if we have to worry too much about it. Maybe just try and kill it. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. We do have to worry about it. Damn. Now we gotta... Now we gotta get rid of this. How are we gonna get rid of this, though? I don't want to use a friggin' Giga Scorpion to get rid of that. Damn, 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 damn. Alright, you know what? <sighs> I made a mistake on the bleed. Uh, you know, I know. <laughs> 
Whoops. See, because things like this happen. We have to save it for that. Of course, double Madoc. If they have another bomb, though, then this Lambert kind of sucks. But if they don't, then it's actually looking pretty good. But we're kind of here. We'll take, we'll take, we'll take, because we might lose anyways. I draw a card, play card. What are we really caring to play? Um, Lambert here plays for 10. Puts them down. Okay, you know what? You know what? It's not like we're playing a ranked game. I can try things. It's probably the worst thing I can probably do, but because if they don't have a bomb, they click. If they have a bomb, they click. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me do six here. I think I have to make up for the mistake. We'll just go ahead and play something like that. This should buy me the round, I think. Yeah. Can't say I love it, but I think it was needed. I probably wouldn't have done it if their leader did a bit more. But, uh, we should be fine here. So playing Swarm into Maddox not very good. It's pretty bad, actually. But that's pretty much what we have. I think we tuck that back right now. Maybe take a thin. Zoltan's like... This doesn't really do a whole lot for us here. Maybe that's a bit better. I don't know if I want to take long round against this matchup. I don't know how to avoid it either. Because they can get rid of the Dun Banner plus... Get units on the board all in one turn. Which makes it very difficult. I think we're supposed to pass. Okay, Molly the Bricks, we've got the Swarm payoff here. This would be nice. It's probably this one we dump here, I think.
Yeah, I definitely think after this game, I'm going to scratch this deck. I, I'm not overly pleased with the direction this one's going, and I don't have the patience to rework it, but I'm not going to scrap draft mode. I think draft mode still... Let's still play around with it and see if it's uh, if it's what we're looking for. Let's start spawning some here. I want to get out the Dumb Banners ASAP, see if we can pull that off. Hopefully they ran out of bombs. Oh no, if they pull this off, that's going to be nuts. Could be a bluff thing. Let's take that while we can. So, we have to take the fin before we lose it. Irish <laughs> Shade. At least it does nothing. It just sits there for five points. I'm happy with that. I'm so very, very afraid. Okay, we'll take the fin because I need to, and then we'll play this because we need to. We gotta get this out just before we lose that, and then we go and we take. We take. Go from there. Get the bleeding out before it's too late as well. I, they're gonna do it again. Damage a hole. Please just use it for boost. This could be no. This is tilting. Bleeding for four turns, like here, that's my attack back. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna use the Heron Kadoosh this coming turn. And then we're gonna basically ping it off Germain. And then get the Quartermaster. I think that that's what we want to do. Because we need more bodies on the playing field for the Swarm payoff. Of course they have a reset too. Here, so this is what I'm talking about here. At least we get to heal a little bit. It's like nothing happened, right? Kinda. Okay, so our winning line is basically us giving bleeding to Baron once. It goes down to six. We somehow top deck Igni from them. We take it. We use it. We kill 24 on the back row. It's like winning the lottery. Okay. So we need to give Bleeding three because we're running out of time here. Let's keep the dream alive. We'll put it on that one. Then we'll do this, and then this, and then this, and then... At least this order refreshes this turn, too. That was a killer move. Here. Maybe, maybe the the trick to draft is playing it, just being resilient with the same run until you eventually get something good.
They better not have another bomb. I want this to work. I just don't think it's going to be enough, though. Holy. <laughs> Yo, I actually, that's a win con. Nah, we still lose. Uh, we tried. We even got that card advantage too. We forced it, but it just didn't happen. I'm fed up with this deck. Bet you had a scared moment there for a second. No GG. People aren't GGing in draft mode? Here. Wait, no. We want to go back in and abolish the run, don't we? Yeah, I don't want to look at it again. Skip. Here, abandon. I'll be okay. I don't care. <laughs> what do they give? Okay. So here's the thing: in the past, they didn't pay you for anything. So what's it cost to get in here? Three keys. Three keys, two wins. Yeah, I guess that's good. When you have so many, you don't know what to do with them. Sure. At least there's some meteorite powder. That's probably the reason why I'd play this. Okay, so $2.59. Or three keys. So we're dumping keys into this, guys. Like, I have most of the reward trees done. Well, except for the some of the seasonal ones. So... Everything else is done. We, these are just going to keep piling. These might be good for something, right? Big keg open video or something like that. But um, that's that. So we'll leave it here. And let me know for next time, guys. Do you think that we're supposed to keep the same draft time and time again? And run with it for a couple runs? And see if we can make it into something special? Or do you guys prefer just kind of hopping in, trying something out, making a complete pile, playing a few games and dumping it for the next time? Let me know in the comments. And let me know if you guys like the draft videos as well. I didn't have a bad time playing it. I just felt like um, we didn't get some the packages I was looking for, you know? There wasn't like a whole lot of synergy. We were just kind of playing cards. We knew what they did, but it was harder to get wins than I thought it would be with what we had. So... That's that. I'll be back with another deck guide tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and we'll see you then.